Edwards gets around Solomon Hill, tries to sling it again, still can't get it to go. Rondo, and that's the way the quarter is going to come to a close. The Timberwolves active on that final offensive possession. Culver, nice patience, finds Ed Davis, but Capella with the block. There's some people that complain all the time. Chris Paul never stops complaining. There are some coaches that complain all the time. If they, if they credit Capella with another block there, that'll be six, which will match a career high. Which doesn't make any sense, because you're just going to get your shot blocked to turn it over. Speaking of turnovers, after Reddish goes one and two at the line, the Timberwolves eventually come up with the turnover. Rondo. Step back three for Rondo. That's not really his forte. You, you have to have teammates too, too to help him along. Say, yo, young fella, maybe you want to get a better shot, you know? I mean, that's a tough shot. Wide open in the corner is Rondo. Nothing but net from three. Net. Timberwolves have lost 10 of their last 11. And in danger of getting into a very big hole right here against Atlanta. Rondo. McDaniels with a board. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty unprecedented in the class act that he was. What a gentle man. And of course, the Timberwolves playing Atlanta tonight, the, the city yeah. that, you know, it, it, it was home for him. And Aaron Martin. Martin Luther King Day as well, yeah. so. And, and Jim, you heard Lloyd Pierce talking about it. He yeah, said, you know, great. one of the great things was how Hank Aaron, he wasn't one of those bitter guys that said, I can't believe the money you guys are making now. He he, he was grateful to have the opportunity. He had uh, you know, watching Hank Aaron and me and my dad were cheering big time. One of the, thing, one of the things that made it especially hard for Hank Aaron, Jim, was Hank. He, he's been thrown into a difficult situation that, that a lot of young players would not be able to handle because at the end of the day, this is a job. I remember talking to Chris Mullen about, about Al Harrington when Al Harrington played with the ball boys in, in Los Angeles. Dave grew up with the, with the ball brothers playing with them. McDaniels misses the stuff of his game and what it's going to take for him to become a superstar player in this league on the same level as LeBron and, and Giannis and all the other great players. And, but Ricky Rubio, by the way, came to Donovan Mitchell's defense on Twitter today.